assembled devotees. Kundan Loka Ki Jai Trinata Pisuni Chena Tarar Iba Sahishnuna Amanina Manadena Kirtaniya Sadahari Hare Nama Hare Nama Hare Nama Ivakivalam Kalona Steva Nasteva Nasteva Gati Ranyata Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare We need flowers for Arti We are continuing our Bhagavat study program Tonight we will study the instructions of Bhishma Dev which is found in the first canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. First of all, we should understand what is Srimad Bhagavatam. It is the narration of the science of God which describes the relationship between God and His devotees. That is the Bhagavatam. Srimad Bhagavatam picks up where Bhagavad Gita leaves off. Krishna's final instruction in Bhagavad Gita, Sarvadharman Parityajya, Mamekam Sharanam Raja, Ahang Tvang Sarvapapibyo, Mokshayishyami Mahasucha. One should abandon all other religions and simply surrender to Krishna exclusively. Krishna says that if you do this, He will protect you from all sinful reactions. And therefore, one should not fear, not hesitate, not worry, not doubt. So then, one next question is, how to surrender? And that is explained in the 18,000 verses of Srimad Bhagavatam. We start off with our usual invocation prayer. Follow along on your sheets. Sri Narada Uvacha Srinvan Bhagavato Bhikshnam Avatara Katamritam Sraddhadhana Yata Kalam Upashanta Janavrita A Grihasta must associate and again and again with saintly persons and with great respect he must hear the nectar of the activities of the Supreme Lord and his incarnations as these activities are described in Srimad Bhagavatam and other Puranas. So we pick up at the end of chapter 8 and we pick up on text number 45. Sutta Goswami said, Thus accepting the prayers of Srimati Kunti Devi, Lord Krishna subsequently informed other ladies of his departure by entering the palace of Hastinapur. But upon preparing to leave, Krishna was stopped by King Yudhisthira, who implored him lovingly. King Yudhisthira, who was much aggrieved, could not be convinced, despite instructions by great sages, headed by Vyas and Lord Krishna himself, the performer of superhuman feats. And despite all historical evidence, King Yudhisthira, son of Dharma, overwhelmed by the death of his friends, was aggrieved just like a common materialistic man. O oh, sages, thus deluded by affection, he began to speak. So just so that we understand 
the context. In the previous two sessions that we had here, we heard the prayers of Queen Kunti. The battle of Kurukshetra has been won. Yudhisthira is now emperor of the world. And so Krishna has decided it is time to return to his home in Dwaraka. So first he was stopped by Kunti. Kunti stopped him on the chariot. And we heard all of the prayers that Kunti offered. Now again, Krishna is stopped, this time by Yudhisthira. Let us see what Yudhisthira says. O oh my lot, I am the most sinful man. Just see my heart, which is full of ignorance. This body, which is ultimately meant for others, has killed many, many phalanxes of men. I have killed many boys, brahmanas, well-wishers, friends, parents, preceptors, and brothers. Though I live millions of years, I will not be relieved from the hell that awaits me for all these sins. There is no sin for a king who kills for the right cause, who is engaged in maintaining his citizens. But this injunction is not applicable to me, for I have killed many friends of women, and I have thus caused enmity to such an extent that it is not possible to undo it by material welfare work. As it is not possible to filter muddy water through mud or purify a wine-stained pot with wine, it is not possible to counteract the killing of men by sacrificing animals. And that is how the eighth chapter ends. So here we see the mind of Yudhisthira. The whole battle of Kurukshetra was fought so that Yudhisthira could be the emperor. It was Krishna's plan. But because Yudhisthira is so righteous, so moral, he is feeling responsible as he has expressed in these statements here. Even though Yudhisthira did nothing wrong, he's so strict moralist, he's so conscientious, that still he feels responsible. Let's see what happens now. Sutta Goswami said, because this is the first canto, and the first canto is the discussion Sutta Goswami is answering the questions of the sages of Naimi Sharanya. So it is interesting to note how Vyasadeva in compiling Srimad Bhagavatam does not start with Rasa Lila. <laughs> he starts with what happens after the end of the battle of Kurukshetra. Because Vyasadeva compiled this Bhagavatam very scientifically, not whimsically or haphazardly. And he compiled it under the instruction of who? Narada Muni. Under the instruction of Narada Muni, he has compiled this final masterpiece, Srimad Bhagavatam. So, the Bhagavatam opened the scene was set. The sages of Naimishiranya, headed by Shaunaka Rishi, have selected Sutta Goswami as their guru, and they're going to perform a sacrifice for how long? 1,000 years. And what kind of sacrifice? They want to hear from Sutta Goswami what he heard when Shukadeva spoke the Bhagavatam for the first time to Maharaj Parikshit. That's what they want to hear. And 
it was mentioned Sutta said I am going to speak to you but I'm going to speak to you exactly as I heard it and to the level that I have been able to understand so that's an important point you don't speak over your head you speak at the level that you are actually able to understand so Sutta Goswami said being afraid for having killed so many subjects on the battlefield of Kurikshetra Maharaj Yudhisthira went to the scene of the massacre there Bhishma Dev was lying on a bed of arrows about to pass away at that time all his brothers followed him on beautiful chariots drawn by first-class horses decorated with gold ornaments with them were Vyas and Rishis like Daumya the learned priest of the Pandavas and others O sage amongst the Brahmanas Lord Sri Krishna the personality of Godhead also followed seated on a chariot with Arjuna recently I've been asked by one of my students in Santiago and I was asked again last night by someone why did Krishna speak Bhagavad Gita to Arjuna and not Yudhisthira and I did the research the answer is Arjuna's there's no doubt Krishna has great affection for Yudhisthira great affection for Bhishma but the relationship between Krishna Arjuna was very intimate it was a special relationship so this we have to understand there are so many different levels of devotees and intimacy with Krishna so the relationship between Krishna and Arjuna was very very intimate and I was explaining last night but above Arjuna and the Pandavas there is Uddhava whose relationship with Krishna is even higher and Uddhava he learned when Krishna sent him to Vrindavan with a message and Uddhava spent two months instructing the gopis reminding them of Krishna and he read he didn't show them the letter because when Krishna wrote the letter he was emotional so Uddhava just read the letter to the gopis and Uddhava spent two months with the gopis reminding them of their eternal connection with Krishna and one of the key messages that Krishna sent to the gopis was there is never any question of separation because I am all pervading therefore there are two names of Krishna which means all pervading Vasudev another V Vishnu both of those names indicates Krishna is all pervasive so in that letter to the gopis Krishna had said to them there is no question of separation because Vasudeva Sarvam Iti everything you see comes from me so this is a devotee's vision a devotee's vision is everything belongs to my beloved Krishna a beautiful flower who who was the artist that created that flower Krishna so in this way the devotee thinks everything he sees reminds him or her of Krishna 
That is what we call the perfectional stage of Krishna consciousness. That no matter what you see, immediately it reminds you of Krishna. Okay, let us continue. O sage amongst the Brahmanas, Lord Sri Krishna, the personality of Godhead, also followed, seated on a chariot with Arjuna. One more thing I told the lady last night. Besides Krishna and Arjuna being intimate, Krishna Arjuna are also in this material world right now in the Himalayas in the form of Nara Narayana Rishi. So the connection between Krishna and Arjuna is so amazing. And if you read the Krishna book or even in the Mahabharata, there are so many incidents where Krishna and Arjuna are together. Thus, King Yudhisthira appeared very aristocratic, like Kubera, surrounded by his companions, the Guyakas. Seeing Bhishma lying on the ground like a demigod fallen from the sky, the Pandava King Yudhisthira, along with his younger brothers and Lord Krishna, bowed down before him. So just see how great is Krishna. Even though Krishna is the God of all gods, he can bow down to his devotee, Bhishma. This is personally something that I very much love about Krishna. That even 